Hi everybody, this is So Heidi, and this tutorial is on making seamless repeating patterns in Adobe Illustrator CS6. Now, CS6 released a brand new feature that allows you to very quickly, easily, and extremely accurately make and edit seamless repeating patterns unlike previous versions of Illustrator. So, I'll give you a little tour here and you'll see how easy it is to do. Uh, I started out with a couple motifs on my artboard. What I'm going to do is select those and choose Object, Pattern, Make. What that does is it op opens my swatches panel and it also notifies me that the new pattern has been added to the swatches panel and that any changes I made will be applied to the swatch upon exit. You can turn that off if you don't want to see that every time. So just hit OK. Now what you're seeing here is what is going to be the repeating pattern and it's showing you a 5x5 five five repeat of the pattern. You'll also have a dialog box open called Pattern Options and this is what allows you to control all the settings for your repeating pattern. Before we get into that, let's just play around with this and see how it works. I'm going to just start moving some of these swirly motifs around and you can see that it is making my pattern update according to that and it's making all the edges of the repeat perfectly line up and match. So this is huge because it allows you to edit your pattern in what I would call a live mode so that you can see where you're going to have gaps in your layout or see where the pattern looks a little bit awkward and you can adjust that very quickly um, unlike how it used to work. So once you've got that set up to somewhere that, that's kind of acceptable for you, you can then come over to your Pattern Options palette and play around with this. You first have the ability to name this whatever you'd like. Um, this is huge. You can change what tile type of pattern you're making. So you can do a brick uh, by row by column. You can even do a hex type of pattern. So you can see as you turn that on, it offsets the pattern into a brick defaults to a half offset. So oftentimes this is called uh, a half drop repeat. Um, you have the ability to adjust what the offset is in the pattern, again, which is really, really outstanding. Um, you can go through and change all these other settings and play around. But the biggest thing is that it just continually lets you visualize how the pattern is going to look in the end. Um, once you're done and satisfied with that, you can just double click or escape to get out of there. You're left with the original pieces that you drew. Move those over. Now we'll draw a shape and we can fill it with our pattern. Now that looks all good. Let's say later on though we decide we want to update something in here we can then go over to our swatches palette, double click on the pattern, and that brings us back into the editing mode. Um, you can make the changes that you want to make, and again, either escape to get out of there, or what you can also do is save a copy. So up at the top here, you have a couple options. You can say done, cancel, I don't want to make those changes, or save a copy. This is great if you want to make a couple different versions of your pattern really quickly, you can just do that. So then you could say new pattern three, type in whatever name you want it to name it, and choose OK. Again, that's been added to the swatches palette. You now have another version of that pattern. Once you double click outside of there, the artwork that you have filled with that pattern swatch will be updated based on the changes that you just made within your repeating pattern. So I hope you learned uh, quite a bit about how easy it is to make repeating patterns in Illustrator CS6 and this should uh, tremendously increase your workflow and hopefully cause you a lot fewer headaches. Thanks for listening. This is So Heidi, and I'll talk to you soon.